Alright, today I'm going to go over the Vortex Razor HD. It's the 2060 85mm version of the scope. Uh, it's kind of the first things there are is when it came with it. It came with uh, an eyepiece there and a scope or a piece down here to cover up your scope. Alright, so pop that off. Uh, I bought a used, it's got a couple little nicks and knacks on it, but it still works really good. Starting from the top down, uh, you have your eye relief that screws in and out. I like that versus one that just pops out because over time if you have pressure on it, it'll go down. This way you have to screw and unscrew it. Next, you have your magnification. Um, you have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and you can adjust it to what you want. Next is your... Uh, your big thing to allow you to focus, your macro focus I guess you could call it. Um, focus in and out when you get into it. Then you have your micro focus which does the same thing, it just helps you fine tune it a little bit. Uh, next you have um, something so if you put it on your tripod you can adjust the angle of the scope so this piece unscrews out and then it'll allow you to swivel it back and forth so if you have it straight up and down your spotting scope will sit like that if you twist it your spotting scope can sit like that in a vehicle or if you're laying down the sagebrush uh, it goes the other way as well you can make it so that it goes and lies this way depending on what you need um, how you're sitting in brush in a vehicle uh, if you would need somebody else a little bit shorter than you to maybe look through it, it'll stay in the same spot. So that's just a simple screw. The next thing is uh, a sunshade. Uh, you just pull this out, and it'll give you a couple extra inches in case the sun is glaring on you. This way, it will reduce that or help reduce that, depending on what you need to have it do. What I'm going to try and do here, I'm holding my phone onto the actual scope just to give you a little um, show of what happens. So as you can see I'm zooming in to things now that's kind of getting out of focus. You can take and use those little macro micro. So there you go, it gets blurrier. Um, if you go this way it gets a little bit clearer. You can get it pretty clear and then you use the micro one to adjust it to whatever feels best for your eyes. Um, so that's just a simple demonstration of what it looks like. like I said, this is your zoom. It's pretty clear. That's about 400 yards from my house. Um, it's getting the first fence pretty clear. If you want to see a farther fence, you zoom in accordingly to whatever you want. So there you go. The, that closer fence got blurry. The farther fence got more clear. Uh, just kind of you can play with a little bit. I'll zoom in a little bit more. As you can see, it's getting blurrier and blurrier. You take and use your micro and macro uh, focus, and you can get her focused into how you feel or what you want to see. And that's kind of just how it works. And a little bit of zoom, I'll zoom back out, see if we can find anything else. So that's how it works, depending on what you want to focus in on um, close stuff, far stuff pretty good overall scope. That's just this quick review of it. I forgot to mention about this scope. Uh, Vortex has a warranty, a lifetime warranty, and it is transferable to the next person. Uh, so if you buy it and sell it or buy it for another person, uh, I bought mine used and I called Vortex just to make sure, and they did say the warranty was transferable to me just as long as you own it. And that's one of the good things about Vortex.